Hi guys, Michelle here from Michelle Morius Art, back with another tutorial. And this one is going to be about how to get a deep, rich, um, solid background on your pieces. In this case, I'm doing a black background for a very dramatic spaghetti on a fork. And I'm going to be using a black marker, but I'm first going in around the fork and around my details with the black polychromos pencil. So basically, I'm just starting to map in my colors and we're just going to get started on the piece. You want to always start with a really accurate sketch and pick out your pencils ahead of time. Make sure they're really sharp and we're going to go in light layers and build everything up really gradually. You could see that I've swatched out all my colors ahead of time and I put the numbers next to them. And this way you're ready to go at the beginning of your drawing and when you are looking for a specific color, you can refer back to your chart and just pull that pencil and know exactly what it's gonna look like when you put it down on the paper. The beginning stages always look a little bit rough because you're just mapping in all those colors. And then we're gonna to start to go in with our details as we get a little bit further along. Now I've decided that I'm gonna go in and start my black background. And I'm using the uh, black Ohuhu marker. And you can see that it has quite a shine to it when it goes down on the paper. So I'm going to spend some time and I'm gonna go over it with the black polychromos pencil, which is gonna get rid of that shine. You can start with a watercolor background, but watercolor is a uh, translucent medium so that um, it does take a little bit when you go over it with the pencils to really cover it up and make it black. The blackest of the black is gonna be your gouache, um, but it does have a chalky look to it when it's done. And being a purist, I really like the effect that when you use the marker and go over it with the polychromos, everything really looks even and you get a really nice sheen from the color pencils and this way the whole drawing looks really cohesive and it really makes a huge difference. It took a lot of time to get that background to be really even and beautiful so the marker really helps get a jump start on getting that deep rich background. If I had just done it in color pencil it would have taken hours to get that black as black as it is and as even as it is. As it is now, I really spent probably about an hour just doing the background. So the whole drawing was about three hours and 37 minutes. So I did take my time, but you can see how dramatic it looks when everything is just really beautiful and really even toned. The biggest secret to doing a hyper-realistic um, picture is getting your values correct. So value is the lightness or darkness of an object and you want to have all those values really really precise. So a good way to do this is if you take your reference image and you turn it into black and white um, you'll get a better feel for how uh, dark something needs to be or how light the highlight needs to be. And this is a helpful trick when you're doing either portraits or pretty much anything. So that's a helpful little trick. And then when you're using color, obviously, the correct color is going to also help. But it has to be the right value. So you could do this in blue or green or purple or whatever color you want to do it in. Um, it will still look really realistic. It doesn't have anything to do with the color. It has to do with the value. Finding the right reference image is really important. Whether you take them yourself or you use uh, sites like Pexels or Unsplash or Pixabay, um, those are all royalty free websites where you can grab some great reference images to draw. Um, this one is from Unsplash, so you can head over to my community page and I've given you that, the sketch and my drawing. Um, or you can go to Unsplash and download the, draw the uh, reference photo yourself. Your drawing goes a whole lot easier and a whole lot quicker when you prepare things ahead of time. So do your homework. Get your pencils all sharpened ahead of time, swatch them all out, get all the tools necessary to complete this drawing, um, and you'll have a lot easier time, a lot easier go of it. 
I love drawing and I love being able to share my knowledge with you guys. And if you want to up your art game, I have hundreds of tutorials on my channel. Check out some of my other ones and I'll link that at the end screen. But for now, thanks so much for joining me. Please subscribe, leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Give me a thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Happy art.